new tutorial or new profile. Simply type the name of your don't new profile. So let's call this. Really upset, I don't know. Uh, yellow, and I'll click the add button. Then you have some options for your language, whether or not you want a notification area icon, which will put it down here in your system tray, whether or not you wanted to minimize to that option instead of okay. the taskbar, so, whether or not you want the cursor over opened, the projector. And, the projector uh, is a full screen output, boss, which, which I will show you in a minute where you can have project to it to here. just show full screen on another screen. Well, to be a Remember healer in there and just heal, heal up your withered you as you go. You can't heal them. Your healing wears Twitch. off. They Next, can only you be choose by your, themselves. basically, your server oh, gotcha. location. Well, Since I'm okay. in the eastern right. side of the United States, I'm yep. going to choose one basically, in Virginia because that's closer to me. Basically, you can't do this as a healer. Now, it's asking Here's you for another a glimmering stream key. Chest. This is basically uh, this just is a, a private man, string so of numbers that Twitch gives you to authenticate you as your streaming, just as a streamer. So, we're going to go up here to twitch.tv slash broadcast slash dashboard. You can also get to this by going to twitch.tv, signing in, and then clicking dashboard. It, it's just your streaming well, dashboard you on twitch.tv. And this is where uh, you're going to sign up. To, you know, put in what game you you're go playing, to the neutral town what the title Suramar, of your broadcast is, right? what the language you're you in, and you can see chat and, you and a video zone. preview. This you need is going to be a tutorial. Honored, more, or not honored, you need to finish TV, your so quest go line far enough functionality, that you actually recruit a few withered. For. She gives you a wand so on your to dashboard, recruit click them with, and then you just keep going a little bit. And she's going to give you that not that far you yet. click stream fair enough show key uh, okay so down there's the final to bosses channel, right or anybody uh, who has access to your right key could in theory here broadcast your channel so you don't want to show that key to anyone this is the spider room um, so there's a like right cool now i'm not going to show it on video it. but you click show key and then I you copy that, that trick. and paste it right here in the path or stream key same thing with hitbox if we go to choose hitbox.tv, right. live stream here, settings, right in that and then you can show it. a key it and paste that way, in there as well. It's going to be the exact same format then it's as Twitch. Just a completely free just and a easy different run. place. Now you have auto reconnect, which you're going to want to leave checked, as that is an just option to catch up. basically, if for whatever reason your internet All cuts we off do, for just like a split second, and you want to <sighs> want it to automatically reconnect without just ending your stream, these things here. You it can will do that. Them, However, you can, you can also set a timeout so that, that say just keep them standing after still. ten tries it still can't connect, then it's going to just stop streaming, so it's not freaking out on you. A handy feature here is to automatically save your stream to a file. Now this means you can save a local channel, copy of your live stream. You know, now unlike programs okay, like Wirecast, you, just stand you cannot here, record a different you quality than your current live stream settings are, but it, you can't, and, you and this is still handy to create a eggs, local file that, so that way you can create like a highlights we'll video a or something out. without having to download it off Twitch and now, then re-upload it the room and lose all your quality through that. So to do this, you're going to want to choose a location. Now, by default, it's set to record to a .flv file. However, you can record to an mp4 file Simply by telling it where to go, so I'm going to tell it to record my hardware raid, and name it, give it a name, I'll name it tutorial, and then and see when likes. you change it, it, are, it already has mp4 selected. If not... Getting a little too far forward. Oh, the boss came, that's fine. Enrage your guys. Wow, she died super fast. And you just want to go really slow through here. They're just angry at everything. Really slow through here. Let them pop all the eggs as you go. Normally the boss doesn't pull that early. Remember, all the damage your withered take is permanent. So try and minimize it as much as you can. You can stun, you can do whatever. Get another withered. Okay, we get another withered. Okay. 
And there's lots of uh, little small chests in this room normally. My first time in here, there was like four small chests in this room. So that's pretty nice. Obviously, if you're a DPS, you're going to pull this a little slower than I am. I'm pulling a little faster because it's easier for me to grab some AoE aggro. And you don't have to have talents in your tank artifact or anything like that. You just need to be able to push taunt and some sort of AoE aggro abilities and, you know, you're good enough to tank it. So I've, right now I've got, I'm doing the wither thing. I've got uh, like 18 withered. Should I go do pillar or should I go and down that broken path to, right before that? Uh, should you do the invisible boss, you mean? No, she's uh, like a, a centaur. Oh, what's her name? Sorry, the centaur? Yeah, so for the centaur, go into her room, use line of sight to pull the little arcane guys. You can line of sight them around the pillars. Yeah, I've cleared out Clear the all the trash out first, and then when you pull her, she puts an AoE debuff on your feet that explodes. When you get that, run away. Other than that, her other spell just does damage. And the AoE okay. debuff one... There's nothing you can do to stop her from doing it. It just happens. But yeah, just enrage your guys and run away from them when you have the debuff on your feet. There's a 10-man chest in this room. It carries your second Berserker Helm. Once you have two Berserker Helms, you can open the very first door like I did when I came in here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down this hallway and we're going to collect any withered and treasure chests, small chests that are on the way. And then we're going to stop before we go in this room. That that's pretty much the end of your run. If you go in this room or the next room, you're probably going to lose all your withered. So you only want to do that after you've collected every chest out here. Um, and the reason is, is that there's a never ending stream of spiders that spawn and the boss goes pretty ham. And then the next boss is just full on crazy. Furog, the elf breaker. You do not want to walk into his room. You can even see the spiders maybe running out right here and dying and they just do this constantly and there's a lot of them so that's not a room we want anything to do with we're going to leave it we're going to go back um we have the room at the very beginning that has a 10-man chest in it um, but the there's nothing like crazy good in it so what you want to do is every once, this would be your next checkpoint. So your first checkpoint is before the stealth guy. If you make it through the stealth guy, um, then you'd stop now and count. So I have a lot of withered. I don't even know how many and a score of 450. So I'm going to go and do some of the more dangerous bosses, but I'm going to pick up some chests first so that I know that I get uh, what I wanted to from this run. So score is what you're here for and then chests as well. So the chests just improve your withered and make them all across the board better. And the score is your reputation. So I believe 400 is enough to get your maximum amount of 100 reputation tokens. Um, so I'll probably come and get that 10 man chest there in a minute, but I wanna get the other ones that are more important first. Um, but uh, the higher you go beyond that, the more likely you are to get really good gear from this thing. That chest in the very first boss room with uh, has a berserking helm in it. So if you have 10 guys and you're a tank, because you can warrior spec either, Tear, you either want to get that chest for the berserker or um, the very first room, that the very first circle room, when you go across it, there was those two, two crab spiders. I'll head over there in a minute. It's got, so this is what happens. 10 of your withered literally stand on the chest and get teleported out. Uh, the other chest I'm talking about gives you a mage. So you might actually want the mage more than the berserker to start with. But uh, the benefit of the berserker is if a little guy aggros onto one of your withered, it's most likely that it'll get onto the berserker. But as you can see, both of my berserkers are dead but my mage has lived. And the reason is, is the berserkers get moments of aggro no matter what, and so they're more likely to die. What the fuck are you talking about, engage to seal? What the fuck are you okay. going on about? Me? 
So there's two bosses that we skipped. One of them is in this room here. He's a huge arcane aberration. And he messes your dudes up pretty good. Um, but he's got a caster 10-man item in that room. And so we're going to go for him. Um, this is pretty risky. Um, he's the same as all the other guys. So he does, you know, the AOE explosion and all the other death stuff and everything's bad and terrible. Um, but he's a full boss instead of just the trash. So normally you'd want like 30 or more withered. I might even just skip this guy. Well, let's, I'm going to grab my 10 man chest first. Uh, I really want the 10 man chest in that room. <sighs> let's see how bad it is. Let's do it. Last time he messed me up pretty good. I have no idea how to do this fucking quest. Wow. Wowhead. Yeah, is it on Wowhead, Darkin? Huh? Is it on Wowhead, the quest? Uh, I Probably. I just trying to do it without looking up Wowhead. and. No, no, no. Best advice Sal ever gave me was Wowhead, every quest. It's the truth. In there. I'm doing the uh, power grid. Okay. Uh, we want to, oh, uh, we want to pull all the ads in this room and clear it out. Um, okay, so you got windows that make laser beams move around, right? Darken? Yeah. You got laser beams through the air? Different mm -hmm. colored lights and stuff? Yep. Okay, good. Uh, go to the object that you need to power up. It'll be like a pylon or whatever. On the ground, you'll see like uh, triangle-shaped shields. Each shield has two light points on each shield. So you need to focus both lasers onto one shield, and then you click the shield, and it activates the first seal. There's three seals in that room. Okay? So you just got to, like, so with that, move stuff around. With that 10-man chest, should I have just left that? Because I took it right after I beat You want to leave it until the end. Like, I'm not right. really taking my chests until I'm pretty much done. Yeah, that's the first mistake I made. I'm doing all right. I got, like, like 150 right now. That's okay. Try and break 200, and it'll be good for you. And you can break it even with one or two guys. If you're down to six guys, find a five-person chest, pick it up, and then just push as far as you can. Because the chests Courage. make it a lot easier for you to push farther the next time. Currents are aligned. Now I need to engage the seal. Yeah, now once you've got two lights on one seal, you just right-click it. And then you have to get two lights onto <laughs> the next seal. Darken, just try a bunch of combinations, man. It's not that hard. I don't know which one you're talking about. No, I'm Well, I'm, now he knows. He didn't to, know that he had to. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, I'm trying to figure yeah. out because like, I keep disengaging the seal. So, I mean, the, the alignment. Okay, this oh, is going to bump my guys, but bump them backwards, which is okay. You always want to get on saving your withered bros as quick as you can. Oh, stop attacking my dudes. If you walk back and forth, it recollects your herd. How are you going to come over here and attack me, brother? I can't. I have to let that guy die. Or worse things are going to happen. Here comes the boss. Okay, so this guy does the same thing as he did before. I actually wanted to run away there. That was a mistake on my part. Try and interrupt him as late as you can. There we go. He was at least away from my guys that time. Okay, here comes his suicide. You have to stun him or it kills all your people. Woo!
Okay. There we go. Well, that one was costly. Dude, I hate that they aggro like everything within a three mile radius when you aggro. <laughs> yeah, it's it all sucks. about pulling back as much as you can. Right? And but being aware that when you pull back, if a monster walks into or touches your wither, they'll bounce away. So lots of stuns. Right. Well, I'm at one ninety two and I've got six withered left, so I'm just gonna Okay, so find a five man chest and yeah, pop the just, chest and yeah, then take your chest. one guy as far as you can. And each chest only spawns one time. So, I mean, eventually you're going to get them all. It's not really a yeah. big deal. Okay, I got one more boss to fight, and it's a terrible room. But I really want this chest, and I never want to have to come in here again. So, I'm going to take this guy. Whew. It's a terrible room, but I really... Okay, we're going to head up to the very first room and try and fight our way in. Oh, sorry. Up the swipey hallway. Okay, so this room we're going into is the one that takes two berserkers to open, so you won't be able to get there for a while. You only ever go into this room one time, and then you never come back in again. I want that five-person chest, too. But I need the ten-person chest over this room more, so we'll wait. Is that yours, Tess? All right, broke two hundred. It feels it's all right. I, if if it does get early, you said it, it gets easier the more times you do it. That's right, because you're you're gonna get damage dealers, you're gonna get tanks, you're gonna get healers. Your guys are gonna get twenty five percent bonus health. Oh yeah, uh, I know. forgot to use uh, the petrified silk wave. Is it all right? So and you, whatever uh, items you loot at the end, if they increase your wither, just use them right away because it's permanent. Every time you come in, you'll get those units. You don't pay extra for them or anything. And what it will happen is one of your units will be converted to a mage or a cleric or a tank. Appropriately. And so in the guide section of Contempt, the guide chat room, there is a link to a Wowhead article that also breaks all this down by room. It's, it's not the actual article. You just go to the comments section and scroll down, and there's a red button that says show spoiler, hide spoiler. Here, one second. It looks like this, hide spoiler. This is the link. So we start here. You just scroll down to comments. Go down, and you click reveal spoiler, and it explains each of the rooms and what's in them and which, where, which purple chests give you what and all that stuff, okay? So it's very good for trying oh, to do what you do. So this is the Berserker room that I didn't want to do until the very end. As it's apparently the worst regular room in the whole place. So we need to interrupt this guy. As late as we can. Oh, we didn't have to stun him. Good, we got to save it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is the problem with this room. As you can see, you get a bunch of these guys, and it's just going to be terrible. I can't catch nothing. Okay, one of them's dying, finally. See, we're just losing people like candy.
Oh, I can't believe I died. Oh, that's terrible. I wasn't watching my health. I could have looted more chests. So don't do that. That room sucks. So then you get your big chests. I got a disc of the star caller. Withered mana rager. And I got a spell mask of Alanis. And then you get your actual chest. That sucks. I could have had another. <laughs> so that's what I got. I got a defender's belt. Didn't proc for me this time. That's okay. I got four, four of four 100 the reps. End. And then you get uh, a couple of the regular reps. and Or sorry, a regular rep and an artifact. Now this key goes directly to your inventory. So if you ever start this and you don't have one inventory slot, you're screwed. And that is Withered Training. I'm really sad. I think I could have had that room if I hadn't died. I think I had 10 dudes left. All right. I think that any questions or is that pretty much it? What was your score at the end of it? Uh, I don't remember. But if we scroll back in the stream, we'll be able to check it out. It was high. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of just done with it. But like I keep finding extra Wither just sitting around. And you should pick them up. Yeah. <coughs> okay, there we go. That is withered training. And you talk to this. There's a crystal right there, and it ports you out. Man, I'm really salty about that. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll get it next time. And so the max you can get is 425 reputation for doing that. I can't believe how salty I am about dying there. All right, I'm out. You guys have a good one. I may be back later. We'll see. All right, we'll Sleepy. I don't know. Darkens looks like he's got some, like, stuttering issues. Tess looks pretty smooth. Oh, there's a hang-up. And it very well could be my fucking... I'm having, like, in-game leg. I'm, they're not. They're not. I'm switching back and forth between them. Darkens looks okay now. I don't know. Darkens got like some kind of stuttering issue. Like just the, the like frame rate will pixelate every now and again. But I'm running. Yeah. Yeah, because I can only do 3,500. <laughs> uh, if I went to YouTube, maybe I could fucking do it, but.
You see, I don't have fifty up. I can. I own like my max is ten up. Well, not I'm gonna 10 give up, it. To, so I have twenty. I'm gonna I, give it to test. I have twenty. So official ruling: Tess Rosa. All right. <laughs> you cheat. Yep, where Twitch only does it at 3,500. Well, yeah. I, I fucking, I raised my shit up from, 720, from uh, 720 up to 1080 just to try to see if I can top test, but test is the up you want. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, I only, I only have like, I have 30 up, but I, I mainly get like 20 of that, so. And I have 150 down. I'm turning my settings on on this fucking thing. <laughs> 